this could be a moment in someone's life where you go to the grave with this in your mind. Nineteen eighty one, we were first there on the first of May, nineteen eighty one. So every week we'd have a new music night and we'd get staff involved and guests involved and everybody and it was a hoot. Nobody did not ever catch fish because the rivers we went to were plugged with fish. Tens of thousands of fish. That was really an amazing adventure. <laughs> We did Nemo Bay a certain way, and Fraser wanted to do it another way. Getting those ideas across uh, was very difficult, for sure. And there's always a resistance between a father and a son. Fraser never wanted to run a fishing lodge. Then I thought to myself, what are we missing right here? And in that moment, I was just like, we are missing so much opportunity right here. Like it's all within us and it's all right under our feet. We went from having lots of corporate clients to having none. After a plane decides to fly into a building, and that changed the course of history for the world. We were facing basically bankruptcy at that time. You know, to, to be on the cusp of this is what I want and having the doors closed was really difficult. It was uh, like, oh, it's just all over. I knew that Fraser worked away. I knew it had something to do with fishing. So we became pals. One time he had bought a new truck, which was like an old truck. And he said, do you want to see my new truck? And it was this old truck. And anyway, that night we ended up having our first kiss. <laughs> and then I asked Fraser if Nemo Bay was supposed to be like a secret. He was like, no. And I was like, okay, well, let's tell everybody. the coast and stopped at every single travel agent from uh, Seattle to San Diego. Yeah, you do what you have to do. I used to pack a stuffed fish around the corporate offices, get them to come to Nemo Bay and go fishing. So we went to this trade show Here we are. and they were asking us, what do, you, what do you do at Nemo Bay? And we're like, you helicopter fish. And then they're like, is there anything else you can do? And so then we would show, we had one picture of an orca breaching. We are having fun. I didn't know what they were gonna think. So like, nothing, 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 nothing. One 15 minute meeting and then bookings, bookings, bookings. And we've never looked back. slowly realized that the type of client that was going to come to Nemo Bay was a family, it was a private group of friends. We started to develop local programming so that you don't actually have to leave the bay. Like there's guests that come to Nemo they don't book a boat, and they don't book a helicopter, and they can hike and kayak and paddle. I think that Nemo Bay can help people connect to themselves 
who they are now, but across time as well, who they're going to be in the future and who they have been in the past as well. This space here is an energy of creation, co-creation in particular. Sometimes I'd walk the whole place in the middle of the night and the phosphorescence going around. So th that's pretty magic. Look up at the stars. To the river To the river we go Leave our worries on the shore and drift away We do have this dream on the river where people can come and, and have a completely carbon-free experience at Nemo Bay. Sometimes the perfect words are never said I'm proud of Fraser for sticking with it. And I'm proud of Becky for sticking with it because she came into a situation that chances are most women would just walk away from. People have to know that we are there for them. That's the only reason we're existing. This is somebody's life we're looking at. What can we do in this moment that will stick with them forever? To the river. I think once you develop a relationship with something, you naturally respect it more and so you know giving um, our guests our team ourselves the opportunity to actually develop a relationship with nature so that you want to take care of it and nurture it and make sure that it'll be around for many years to come i hope you find this place before you end your days and if you see me out there wave hello